Good evening. The man charged with killing a skateboarder at an Albuquerque skate park is a free man tonight. Today, jurors acquitted Stephen Beck of charges connected to the death of Cody Raver. Courtney Allen spoke with a friend of Raver who says Beck got away with murder. Courtney? Dean, for friends of the well known Albuquerque skater, today's decision was a hard pill to swallow. Friends of Albuquerque skater Cody Raver are in disbelief. It was surreal. I just was not expecting that. I really was anticipating a bare minimum of the voluntary manslaughter charge. Today, a jury acquitted Stephen Beck, who was accused of killing Raver at Los Altos Skate Park more than two years ago. Witnesses say Beck accused a group of men of selling drugs to kids at the park. Police say a fight broke out and Beck pulled out a gun, shooting and killing Raver. The case shook the skating community, prompting memorials to be set up at the park. A lot of people were upset. A lot of people really loved our friend, Cody, who was kind of a, 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 in a way, a pillar of the skateboard community in Albuquerque. A lifelong friend of Raver's watched the whole trial, describing Beck as remorseless, choosing to interview tonight anonymously. Because that guy's real scary and apparently can get away with just walking around straight right up to somebody and shooting them and not have face any consequences. In a statement today, the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office says this was a very difficult case to present to a jury because it involved a violent encounter between the defendant and other individuals at the skate park. The encounter was not captured on video as the shooting was. Although we do not believe that the shooting was an act of self-defense, the jury disagreed and we respect their decision. Raver's friends say today's verdict was a blow. That to me sends a huge message that as a community we are not valued, I guess, or that this is something that, you know, should be expected from from the skate park, which is totally not true. And I don't know how to reconcile that this is what our system is doing. The state dismissed the charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Beck was acquitted of the two remaining charges, second-degree murder and battery. We reached out to Beck's lawyers this evening, but we did not hear back. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. Beck had been arrested two previous times, one for pulling a gun on a man at a bar in 2017 and another from that same month when he was arrested for hitting a man at that same bar. The case was eventually dismissed.